You're still wearing those in the summertime. We need to fix that right now. What's going on, guys? It's Ryan Darks back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about some shoes you should not be wearing this summer so you're not looking like, you know, a clown. Number one, first and foremost, you guys probably already know if you're a returning viewer, is Crocs. Guys, they don't look good with anything you wear. They don't look good with jeans. They don't look good with shorts. They don't look good with, you know, sweatpants. Whatever you want to pair of Crocs with, they don't look good. Socks without socks, they don't look good. If I were you, I would just, you know, kindly toss these to the side, get rid of them, you know, change them out for something else. If you got some Crocs, pitch them. It'll be the best decision you ever made. Moving on to the second shoe is boat shoes. I know in a recent video, I mentioned that these are better probably than slides and flip flops, which they are, don't get me wrong. You know, don't mistake in my words with what I'm saying, but this is still a shoe that I would pitch as well. It's just out of date, out of style. It's really outdated. Um, you see it more with like, I don't know. It just looks like kind of like a more preppier look, just not really like a stylish type of look, I would say. And then especially when you see guys wearing them with, you know, the boat shoes or like the high white socks, it just doesn't look good with pretty much anything you have on. Doesn't look good at a like casual setting. Doesn't look good really at like a, you know, more relaxed setting, anything like that. More of like a more high echelon setting, anything like that. Boat shoes don't really go well with. I've seen a lot of people wearing like interviews, they don't match well with suits. I've seen people wear them out, you know, in a nicer setting. They don't match well with like nicer trousers. They don't match well with pretty much anything. Shorts, they look just as bad, especially when you guys want to pair them with socks. This is just the biggest thing you could ever do with both shoes. So both shoes, another shoe I would completely pitch. Um, I would change it for a nice Oxford, a nice loafer, a nice minimum sneaker, anything like that is better than a boat shoe. So if you are a current person that owns a boat shoe, talking to you, you need to pitch those to the side, just like our friend, the Croc. Third shoe on this list is dirty shoes. This should be obvious, but a lot of you I see are walking around with dirty shoes and I don't know why, especially dirty white shoes. This is the, my biggest pet peeve on this channel. I'm not sure why guys do this. If you have shoes that you love, I understand they might be hard to get rid of and I completely get it. I have shoes that I've had to pitch that you know, we're very close to my heart, but unfortunately, guys, shoes get dirty over time, so you have to know when to kick them to the curb. Unless you have a shoe cleaning kit, which I've recommended before, you're cleaning your shoes very often, then, you know, you can maybe bypass what I'm saying right now. But if you're one of those people who keeps those, you know, nice Nike Air Force ones that you've had for the last five years, and you got grass stains on them and all that, and dirt all on them, it's time to pitch them, guys. If you can't clean them, just replace them with the new ones, the best advice I could give you. So make sure you're not wearing dirty shoes women literally one of the first things they look at is your shoes i've literally had women on my channel if you guys look back far enough and they have all said that they look at shoes when they're first looking at a guy if your shoes are dirty busted ugly they're looking right away from you i promise so make sure your shoes are clean if they look bad make sure you're replacing them with new ones make sure you clean them every time you wear them taking good care of your shoes so make sure you guys are not wearing dirty shoes not just for the warm months but dirty shoes in general be the biggest mistake you ever make, especially when trying to attract that special someone. Last but not least on the list, this one should come no surprise as well. Slides, flip flops, whatever you want to call them. They look bad. If you're not at a body of water, you shouldn't be wearing them. Don't wear them outside. Wear them inside the house. That's fine. That's it. If you run into the mailbox, that's fine. If you're in a casual setting, do not wear these shoes. It's a huge mistake. Your toes, nobody wants to see your toes. Nobody wants to see your feet. If you got them with socks on, it looks just as bad. It's just not a good a shoe that, you know, you should wear. It doesn't really look good in any type of setting besides like a body of water or, you know, walking to the mailbox pretty much is the only type of you should get out of flip flops or slides, whatever you want to call them. So guys, make sure you apply these tips. Do not get caught with any of these on your feet this summer. I promise you, you will regret it. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification to be notified every time I release a new video. I've also been, you know, giving you guys some nice stylish outfits on my Instagram lately. So make sure you guys are following me on Instagram at Ryan underscore darks. That's it for me today, guys. See you guys in the next one. Thanks. Peace.